Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, and liftoff. Go SpaceX, go IM-1, and the Odysseus Lunar Lander. Vehicle pitching down range. Stage 1 propulsion is nominal. successfully lifted off from pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center carrying the IM-1 payload. Now during ascent we tilt the engines, the technical no, term being no, gimbling, and that turns the rocket horizontally. And Mach 1. Max Q. Come back, show has started. Yep. We have a few events coming up in quick su succession here. That will be Miko stage separation, SES-1, and then the boost back burn startup on the first stage vehicle. Miko or main engine cutoff is where we shut down all nine of those M1D engines on the first stage vehicle that helps slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation, which is where the first and second stage will separate. And the first stage booster will begin its trip back to earth. And the second stage vehicle will uh, ignite that MVAC engine with SES-1 or second stage engine startup one. And then the boost back burn will begin on the first stage vehicle, which is one of three burns that's required for the vehicle to make its way back to today's landing zone. And this burn assists with the vehicle to reorient itself off. back towards land. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Stage one, boost back startup. And there we saw and heard those call outs for Miko, stage separation, SES-1, and the boost back burn startup on the first stage. Some great views there. Now the first stage is currently performing its boost back burn. This is where we ignite a few of the engines to bring the trajectory towards, towards the landing site. And coming up here shortly will be fairing separation. Bearing separation confirmed. And an excellent view of fairing separation and an amazing view of the IM-1 payload attached to Falcon 9 second stage. Stage fairing deployment has been confirmed and we will be attempting to retrieve these fairing halves once they fall back to earth with our recovery vessel, Bob. Both vehicles are on nominal trajectories. And some good call outs there. And in about three minutes, there will be a couple more burns on our first stage to prepare for landing at landing zone one at Cape Canaveral. Again, we've completed the boost back burn on the first stage. That's the first burn of three. The next burns coming up will be the entry burn and then the landing burn for the first stage vehicle. Now we are at T plus four minutes and 17 seconds into today's mission. IM-1 is SpaceX's 14th launch this year and the lunar lander on board could be the first U.S. moon landing since the Apollo program ended more than 50 years ago. You can see on your screen that the MBAC engine on the second stage is ignited, and we are currently in the first of two planned MBAC burns. Around T plus six minutes, you should see on your screen 
The first stage is entry burn coming up on that first stage vehicle. Again, that is the second of three burns. For the entry burn, we will relight three of those M1D engines, starting with the center E9 engine, followed shortly afterwards with the E1 and E5 engines. This helps slow the vehicle down as it enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. Now we need to slow down the vehicle to reduce re-entry forces, and that helps us to recover and reuse the first stage. And again, what you're seeing on your screen is a view of the MVAC engine on the second stage. And you can follow the speed and altitude of both vehicles on the bottom left hand of your screen that is showing the stage one telemetry and stage two telemetry on your right hand screen. And we are coming up on the entry burn for the first stage vehicle in just about 20 seconds or so. And what you're seeing on your screen on the left hand side, it's a little dark there, but that is a view from the first stage. And with the entry burn, we should see that screen light up with the engines reignited. Stage one, three, four, start up. And there you can see that the entry burn has begun with those engines relit. Stage one, shut down. Stage one, FTS. And a very, very quick. Both entry vehicles burn are on nominal there. trajectories. Great callouts, both vehicles on nominal trajectories. And as I mentioned, that was the second of three burns required for this booster to return back down to land. The next and final burn will be the landing burn. That's just a center E9 engine burn. And that helps slow the vehicle down just in time for landing. That's coming up in just about 15 seconds or so. Stage one transonic. Stage one left burn. And there Stage you can see on your left hand down. screen the, the landing Stage burn two, has begun. Let's watch as Falcon 9. Stage let's watch as Falcon 9 touches down for landing. Stage and a great one, view first. there. That, that is comp. We just had confirmation. Nominal of orbit landing. insertion. We also heard and just heard Seco 1 as well as a confirmation of good orbit for our Falcon 9 second stage carrying our IM-1 payload. Now with that landing, that marks SpaceX's 273rd recovery of an orbital class rocket, including first stage landings for Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. And with confirmation of good orbit, the mission isn't over yet. Coming up, we do have the second burn of our MVAC engine, or SES-2, on board the second stage around the T plus 41 minute mark, followed by spacecraft separation. 